Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. In the shadows of history lies a city known for its secrets and seductions, Babylon. In the ways of Babylon, Apostle Michael Orokpo exposes the hidden strategies of this ancient world system. Learn how the spirit of Babylon still influences today's society, pulling many away from God. Discover the subtle traps and deceptions that lead believers astray. Break free from Babylon's grip and walk in divine wisdom and truth. Unveiling the truth about the ways of Babylon and guiding you to freedom. So you'll find certain challenges that come to you every six, six months. It will hit you for two months and go back. Come again, hit you for two months and go back. Hit you. The idea is to weaken your strength until you come to a point where you just give up. Satan doesn't need to come. You yourself will say, no, this thing, no, they work. That's why some people started, they said they are evangelists, they became teachers, they became apostles. After 10 years, they say, Kai, please, is there any business here where they sell water? I want to be a businessman. <laughs> some people had that politics. They tried house of reps, they tried chairman, they tried counselor. At the end of the day, no one, they say, wait, oh, come. Politics, leave politics alone. No. They start advising others, don't go there. They look for something else to do. Don't run away. Fight. 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 The battle is don't give up. It's not about winning. When you stand for a while, Satan will leave you. They will know that this one, your skin is thick. And this is why we pray. Because see, the way to toughen yourself is to remain on the altar. He say, a thousand shall fall by your side. Ten thousand by your right hand. It shall not come near you. With your eyes you shall see and behold the recompense of the wicked. Stand your ground. Listen. Find out the things that toughen men. Toughen yourself. Because it's either you make it or you make it. But you must make it. Because this life is live once. I'm not going back to my creator with excuses. No way. No way. I was given opportunity once. And I will make sure that opportunity counts. I will make sure it counts. But you see, you begin your fight by telling yourself, my garment will be pure. I will never compromise. There will be no stain. You begin your fight by insisting, there must always be oil on my head. Anything that keeps your garment pure, do it. Anything that keeps oil on your head, do it. The opportunities may not come. Keep the oil there. Keep the garment pure. One day, the doors will open. Your problem will happen if your head lacks oil. Your problem will come if your garment becomes stained. But if your garment is not stained, and if oil is in your head, brothers and sisters, even if they throw you into the well, from the beneath of the well, you'll be prophesying. That's what they did to Jeremiah. But Jeremiah was prophesying from the belly of the well. He never gave up. And those prophecies were the things that Daniel fell upon and say according to the prophecies of jeremiah we are supposed to be in captivity for 70 years those prophecies became the doorway for another generation can we pray two minutes can we pray can we pray lord capacity to stand lord capacity to remain pure lord capacity to service the oil capacity capacity Sahila, paparada, regetede, shabina, manto. Only God knows what He has written concerning you. Some of you listening to me now, you are the apostle that will deliver Nigeria. Some of you listening to me now, you may have been passing through here, but where you are going to, you are the light of a generation. A day we come when we will look at you at the top and say, thank God we met you. You may not know. You may not know. Some of you hearing me now, you are going to be counting.
counselor of kings. You are going to be counselors over nations. That is why you cannot break. That is why you cannot compromise. That is why I am not going to go back. I refuse to go back. I refuse to go back. Israel out that we began to know the men that were in Egypt do you know Miriam the prophetess was in Egypt that was like the first prophetess of scripture a first woman who could peep into heaven and pick sounds when they crossed the river and Miriam began to sing songs ha! they were here redeemed a woman who could pick movements in heaven was in Egypt and if Moses didn't come she would have been buried there she sang the songs of the spirit but she was in Egypt do you know Joshua was in Egypt a man that could take 31 kingdoms was working in Egypt as an ordinary boy because Egypt kept him in captivity do you know Caleb was in Egypt this was a man that at the age of 80 he said give me that mountain I will take it a man who could take mountains he was in Egypt because if you don't defeat the city your talent your potential are useless that's why we fight these battles some of you listening to me you have capacity to borrow to nations those capacities are in you some of you listening to me you have capacity to counsel kings rulers companies and to even bet them but cities are over you Egypt say you must be a slave and Egypt never gives up they were there for 430 years if they took a fight imagine 10 plagues for them to come out hear me anybody and any system that must come under plague for your emancipation it will happen now it will happen now it will happen now it will happen now come on go ahead and pray for one minute i will not end in it every power of slavery is broken from my destiny i will not end in babylon every spirit of compromise they go down now they go down now they go down now they go down now when i leave this world I'm, I'm shutting down two minutes I was told 
a man was wrongly accused of committing murder and he was in prison for over 20 years before the case was reopened and they discovered the man was innocent i mean go, just go online these stories are not few go google some of the crime stories in places like america and the rest you'll be shocked people will be accused wrongly they are in prison some 30 years then they come and another lawyer reopens the file and they say oh he is innocent and then maybe they compensate them with few thousands or millions of dollars how do you recover that life in your prime maybe you are 25 then they throw the person to prison he is at 50 or 50 something they are now saying sorry he was innocent and they have done some scans they didn't have wow that is egypt he is slavery Yo, it, it takes, it robs you of your potentials. It makes your potentials useless. You are gifted, but you are behind bars. Innocent, you did nothing. Somebody comes, they, you are in an organization. They were talking to somebody that somebody is, is rebellious. And they pointed at somebody and they mistook you for the person. And for 10 years, they fought you for no reason. Threw your fire under the table. And they attend to it and your promotion is forestalled for 10 years that is egypt you may not even know how the battle is happening it's the battle of the gods that's why god must have to pass through egypt he said tonight i will pass through egypt i will strike it egypt must be struck for you to be let go the leviathan must be buried for you to be let go can you play in the spirit Metarita, a Susana, Mantele, Catoa, Cacalu, Sapala, Cula, Ca, Secretary, the Dina, Sasaka, Cow, Ziba, Caparo, Papa, Menero, Arifaca, Secane, Arege, Calula, Cacala, Gazuno, Papa, Papa, Cities, Spirit Cities. a virgin loves God on fire for God he was pastoring a church doing well suddenly a sister came and followed this guy up oh and you know some of these guys who don't have systems preservative systems around them porous and the sister followed him until he fell the moment he fell people began to talk to the sister in the united kingdom well um, take this guy to the police accuse him of rape you'll get some money see what happened when she went the whole church heard about it none of his assistant he wanted to step aside no pastor wanted to take over as i'm talking to you now church is closed after church closed down the sister now came that she wants to withdraw the case so you, they, it was not the case. 
it was Babylon he didn't know that in Babylon you don't compromise listen I love we are praying now God will restore him but I'm using this so that you learn some of you here the reason you you your ministry ended in the city where you were God was raising you was because the first day you kiss somebody they caught you and they say that's what you have been doing meanwhile God knows that you have never touched anybody that was the first day the pressure came meanwhile the princess have put the stage the moment you held her they opened the door ah as far as men are concerned that's what you always do if you like swear with your life nobody cares as far as they're concerned you are one of the wolves it's called Babylon there are some of you in your offices the first time they shared money and you took money that was not legal that was the day EFCC showed up and you told yourself I've never done this so I don't even know about the business they just told me to take <laughs> nobody cares anymore you have compromised Babylon will make you a slave and you will be there for 70 years your voice will never be heard so any other job you are looking for why did you leave the last one the CFCC case they say you stole money and your career you made first class you have a master's degree three master's degree but now the CFCC you you can't even travel anywhere anymore it's called Babylon you don't fight these cities they are intelligent systems that Satan has created to wreck men wreck men some people's family are destroyed destroyed ministries destroyed because of a moment of Babylon can you pray for one minute that city won't arrest you Egypt won't arrest you Babylon won't arrest you Rome won't arrest you Assyria won't arrest you can you pray for a second I will not be a victim of Babylon I will not be a victim of Egypt prophecies do you know why God comes ahead with prof prophecies because a point comes only the prophecies over your destiny will deliver you for Israel God had told Abraham your children will be in captivity for 400 days a day I will come and I will deliver them and they will live with a great spoil for Babylon Jeremiah already prophesied the captivity is for 70 years can we lift our voices and cry any prophecy of my life let it speak now any prophecy of my calling any prophecy of my ministry any prophecy of my career any prophecy of my destiny let it speak now I will not wallow in this pit I will not wallow in this pit I come out 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 now
Zemeke boro dogo shate Tate tete Paragado jagati Zagadura la babakata Atoria papa Many callings, many ordinations were buried in Egypt, were buried in Babylon. I speak over you, your own will not be buried. Every Egyptian spirit that wants to enslave you until you become useless will break their powers now. Every Babylonian spirit that wants to cause you to compromise because of pressure so that you will lose that which God has given to you we decree and declare concerning you it will not find expression let mercy prevail over your life let mercy prevail over your calling let mercy prevail over your career in the name of Jesus you are part of those that have been delivered and you will walk into your promised land. You will walk into your promised land. Can we lift up our right hand as a church and pray for that servant of God that Satan wants to destroy his ministry? Can we ask for mercy as a church for him? Ask for mercy. I know this guy, he loves God. I know him. He's a man of integrity. He, he, he collapsed under the weight of Babylon. Now Babylon is heavy. Babylon is heavy. Honest man, upright man, but a light is about to be truncated. That's why God put it in my spirit. Restoration, 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 restoration. Can we pray for every minister of God or every leader in the body of Christ today? Either those in business, those in government, that Satan is putting pressure on them to compromise, that they will stand. Their testimony will be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Their testimony will be like that of Daniel. Their testimony will be like that of Mordecai. They will not bow. They will not bow. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Ah, 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 ah. to release an anointing for restoration see some of you compromised when Babylon came you were not caught but because of your compromise your wilderness journey was prolonged and now it's difficult for you to be entrusted with mandates the Lord wants to anoint somebody here for restoration this calling this grace this gift will not be wasted. Just lift that hand and be quiet. Father, you want to exalt the horn of one tonight. Help 
them now, ushers. The oil has come. Help the mama. The oil has come. The oil has come. Horns are about to grow. Horns. Horns. Horns are about to grow. Horns are about to grow. Help them. Heleketa. Pakate. Fekaruna. Zazaya. Mahila Katete. Eferuna Tak. Prophets. Prophetesses. Seers. Intercessors of rank. Apostles. Leaders in positions of power. The wells that have dried up. We command the waters to spring up. We command the waters. Oh yeah, waters. Spring forth. Spring forth. You are glorious. So glorious. In Bring them to the altar. You are glorious, so glorious in your You are glorious. You are glorious, so glorious in your You are glorious. You are glorious, so glorious in your see in public and you call failures you call wicked men they were actually the good ones most of them not all but the devil makes sure he disgraces them and makes their error public because he knows those ones have the potential to repent so when people hear even if they repent it will be too late there are others who are buried beneath the dark cloud of Babylon a pastor told me he slept with somebody, married man. Nobody caught him. In fact, he went and confessed to his wife. But from that day, his ministry became like child's play. Prayer, fasting, nothing. He doesn't know what is happening. The same thing he was doing that things were happening. Nothing. What is going on? He has gone to many people. It's a city. Everywhere he goes, that city makes demand. You have become a citizen of Babylon. You can't represent another government. Because the moment you compromise, you bow before the graven image. Some will take years of restitution and restoration. But the Bible says mercy prevails. Some of you are listening to me now. You will need us to, to join hands with you and pray. Because we are asking, why are things not happening? You know why. On your journey, you took up the visa and then the citizenship of Babylon. And your repentance must be complete. For those cities to lose their powers over you. And it's not just pastors. Some are supposed to be leaders in government. 
the first position God gave them, the money that was meant for people, they swindled all and bought a car. That car is your grave. You drove your future in three months. That's why they are wondering, I'm gifted, I'm talented, I know people, even in the presidency, how come no door is opening? You have bought, you have sold your future. Spirits are wise. The best thing that will happen to you is to stay under God's government. May the Lord show mercy on all of us. Those of us who are standing, the Bible says God is able to keep us from falling. May the Lord help us to keep standing. <laughs> These systems are ancient too. If you stand up and say I'm strong, it means you are not wise, you are naive. Paul said I continue to this day because the Lord helped me. May the Lord help us to stand. Benihin told us in Lagos, I don't trust myself. I trust Jesus Christ. May the Lord help us to stand. Whoever is standing is standing because he is helped of God. And for those of us who are falling, he said mercy prevails over judgment. The mercy you need to be restored because there is restoration in God. Jonah disobeyed God. God restored him and he did the work even at a faster rate with greater intensity. I speak the mercy of God over your life and your calling. Receive restoration now. Thank you, Father. Jesus, precious name. Sit down. In two minutes, we're out of here. I will take time to do a proper teaching on dominion and i will start from spirit cities god bless you have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to jesus or you want to rededicate your life to jesus christ as your lord and savior then say this short prayer lord i admit i am a sinner I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. Dot in your precious name. Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.